Hello and welcome back to another Friday episode of World Traveler Cooking. This time we are going to make vederai, which are sort of like a potato sausage from Lithuania. Um, the ingredients are potatoes and milk as the filling. Um, sometimes people do add bacon into the middle and sometimes they serve the bacon on the outside. Um, Additionally, of course, we have sausage. Uh, I have about a casings. I have about a meter here of pork intestine casings, um, and then the uh, sauce will be made with um, onions and bacon, and then I will top it with just a little sour cream. Um, I've heard great things about this dish. I may, I will probably add a little bit more beef fat or other animal fat, and I will probably add a bit of salt and pepper. Um, but I've never actually tried these, so I'm really looking forward to it. So, let's go ahead and get started. We'll peel the potatoes, run them through the potato machine, and then uh, we'll get to the next step. After that. So, I just set this milk on to boil, and it is boiling, so I'm going to turn it off. Next, I'm heating this up. Uh, it is hot, so in goes the bacon. And remember, we typically want to cook the bacon cool for a while. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm going to add some extra animal fat because um, I'm in the tropics here and so the bacon isn't as fatty crap. <laughs> so they want this container. So. Uh, I'll be back once this bacon is cooked a little bit, and we'll add the uh, onions. So in go the onions. And then I'm just going to stir these for a while. Uh, this is down. And I'll be back in maybe about five minutes. Now, at this point you have a choice to make. You can, for example, add some of the uh, onions and bacon into the sausages themselves. I'm not going to do that today, but you can. If so, then you're going to keep cooking this for a bit. If you're not, uh, then you want to start thinking about when you can pour off much of the grease. Uh, that will actually go into the, um, into the um, uh, potato mixture. So. We have that. Um, as it is, I'm just going to turn this down and I'm going to concentrate on the potatoes while this continues to cook a bit. Okay, so since I'm in the tropics, uh, I'm not going to get much uh, grease out of the bacon, so I've added about 50 grams of bacon there. Um, next, we're going to go ahead and grate our potatoes. Over this goes the milk. And you can add less for a more firm or more for a less firm. So I'm going to add about that much, about 100 milliliters. And we're going to stir this nicely. And once this is nicely stirred, we will start looking at filling our sausage casings. So I'm going to stir this well, and then I will be back. So I've already added a bit of pepper, and now I'm going to add a little bit of salt. You can see these are starting to darken a little. That's annoying, but it is what it is. Um, I think things should be okay once they're cooked. And so we've stirred it together. Now I think we're going to go ahead and fill our sausage casings. So now I have um, filled this, but uh, not all the way, of course, because this will expand. So I have about, I would say, 20 centimeters on the end. So now I'm going to divide this basically into sausages, and I'm basically going to twist things around for a bit. And of course, they will untwist while they cook. So in these go into the oven for an hour, and uh, then we'll be back to eat. 
And here we have these out of the oven. So now I'm going to serve up a couple and um, present them. And uh, then uh, we'll go from there. Basically, I'm going to cut two of these off, probably these two here. And then I will top them with the um, with this topping and add a bit of sour cream. I'll be right back when that's done. And here we have our um, vetterai. Next up, the taste test. And now for the taste test. First, I'm just going to try some of the potatoes. This tastes very much like the other Lithuanian dishes I've made, um, very similar to cephalomai and very similar to um, pugelis. I'm going to try a little bit now with uh, the tomatoes, not tomatoes, um, onions and bacon. This is really delicious. The um, potatoes are rich. The texture is smooth. Um, the flavors go together really nicely. I really like this. It's a bit of work, makes a bit of mess, but it's well worth it. If you like this content and you find it interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, additionally, if you make a dish like this, you make it a little differently, I'd love to hear how you do it differently. I very much enjoy those sorts of conversations. Uh, sometimes I learn some things. Sometimes, um, sometimes we can exchange ideas that can make all of us better cooks. So, um, at any rate, bon appetit, and see you next week. Recipes in the description.